Okay, we're here for our intro to Tai Chi. So, Jack Water. Yeah. Yeah. Start, I'm doing this like this, kind of the salutation greeting. We also end the session with this. And uh, the format here is we just go through Tai Chi, like you do explore the universe of Tai Chi, which involves kind of quieting the noisy mind, call that sometimes the I. Letting the body, once this is quiet, starts to discover kind of its own sort of natural flow with itself, its uh, intrinsic Chi or life force, and move in a way and breathe in a way that promotes this to get calmer allowing this to get fuller and allowing the connection between here and here to generate a, a flow experience which makes this calmer and energetically makes this fuller so you know it's uh, kind of i would say a uh, win 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 if we can do it okay and so today we're going to do a couple of Tai Chi moves, but I, I thought what I would do is highlight certain basics, okay, that you'll see reflected in the moves. For example, I'm putting my right hand here, my left hand here. I'm holding a ball. Okay, now several things. Shoulders locked. There's a I'm forming an edge here, because I, I must relax my shoulder. I need sort of an edge or a point. I'm not holding that ball. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reverse right on top, left on top, left on top, right on top, right on top, left on top. I'm not holding a huge ball or a little tiny one. So this is uh, roughly about no step height. This is waist level. That's pretty standard for a lot of the moves. And you know, I could, I can say kind of round movement. Round movement. What else is round or circular? You're breathing this. So I'm gonna put my hands here. Now, Tai Chi, you breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Now I'm trying to force the air down here, just trying to feel the lower tummy area. As I relax the chest, which the round movement promotes. I want to breathe like a baby. Not so much like an expert in breathing. I want to breathe like a baby. I want to sift through knowledge and everything. Just to capture a, a more original position in my life. As we get older, the breathing gets higher. So, so the round emotion can promote A deeper, deeper sense of breathing. More natural. Now we're going to go to the round motion. And from here, we're going to add round, 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 round. Now, in part of the round motion is now turning the waist. Out here, for example, my nose and navel are facing the knee. I don't want to go past that. I start to tense up, or conversely, if I don't move at all, I'm going to eventually just sort of get stiff. So, uh, now, for example, I'm turning to my left. So we have round motion in the arms and the limbs. Now we also have round motion in the waist and hips.
and the speed of slowing everything down. All I'm doing is taking a sphere, turning it upside down and downside back up. Careful again, I'm gonna go this way. My back tense is up, so. Okay. Now, I'm gonna have one more thing. But check here. Ideally, the combination of round movements. The breathing settles. Now we added more round motion with the waist. Check your breathing again. So as I'm deepening the breathing, a lot of my noisy mind starts to quiet down. I try to quiet it down. That thought makes it more noisy. So I'm focusing on the roundness of the physical movements, the roundness now of the body turn. And in me, that promotes a more natural state of breathing, going back to its more original nature, which is when we were babies. My master in Tai Chi, Master Choi Kang Ma, he would say, the Dantian breathing is a point to which is below the navel, a kind of a psychic point. But he also said, baby breathing. I'm thinking of a psychic point, a bit too noisy. Just doing this, not jerking the movement. Let's see here. Nose and navel, fake point where the knee is. Nose and navel, point where the knee is. I want to keep the motion here. If I don't move enough, this gets too tense, feel boxed in. But if I do this, my, my lower back and everything start to kind of tense up. So, pardon? Okay, now another thing in Tai Chi. We bend the knees. Now, if you do this for a while, you're going to get tired. But what we're going to do here, shift the weight back and forth. Okay. Without saying, I'm going to go here, stand up. No, I'm also going to sit. Four sit, no. In Tai Chi, you know, there's exercise here. I'm going this way, this way. So I'm not dropping the weight here and holding it, dropping the weight here and holding it, or sitting in this position. Now we're going to add nose navel goes to the knee, so it's not just this, but now let's try adding. So we're in a deeper stance. So these are building blocks. in your practice. Okay. So again, in no particular order, the arms, movements around, no jagged edges. If there's an itch here, there's tension. Turning the waist. Now, setting a little deeper here. I'm shifting the weight to the side. If I just go here, I'm going to get tired, but weight on the left, 
Way down the right. And smooth transition. This goes to here. We don't stop and jerk the other. Look at that. That motion organically, naturally flows back the other way. So again, weight is on this side. Weight is on this side. So those are things to kind of process. And feel your breathing. Calmer, the deeper the breathing. The noisy mind plays may be going on, but we're really relocating. Could be a storm on the top of the ocean, the bottom of the ocean's calm. So many people practice Tai Chi or fully Tai Chi Chuan for health benefits. They can complement uh, another program if you're into yoga. There's motion here. If you're into meditation, meditation has a movement practice to it. So um, if you're an athlete or something, you, you might want to achieve that place. You know, sometimes they call it the zone. Reminding your body of one. Boom. Boom. You're able to do things you can't do. You, if you're training in a sport or something, I say it's a good way to because you don't run faster or jump higher that way. You're, you're in an integrated place. And yeah, sometimes from that integrated place, you can do things you normally can't do. The point with the Tai Chi is, okay, there's a location. Okay? So that's uh, what we're doing. Now what we're going to do is just take those into a couple of basic Tai Chi movements. Okay? This is an intro. So at this particular point, you, you don't have to um, don't have to get the movements precise, but it's good to, you've covered some of the basics. And just flow along with those basics. Sometimes you get the movements so precise the, the thing is dead. You're technically correct, uh, but you are spiritually incorrect. You kind of get the larger picture, but the details fill in naturally. Okay. So from here, we're going to start out just feed about a shoulder width apart. We're going to breathe in and out. Now the hands are moving. Just let your hand, hands hang, relax the chest. Right about here. Shoulder level. A waist level. Let the fingers relax. Now we're going to add another dimension to it, which is Fingers relax, waist level, deeper, deeper stance. Yeah. Now, you don't want to be standing with your legs stiff, but you also don't want to be forcing yourself here. So that's the commencement motion. Yeah. Oh, let's just check. Detail. Check your breathing. Check to see whether or not there's some tension gathering in the shoulders of 
We find, for example, jaw, forehead, there's a lot of tension, the neck. So as you start to, the goal is to relax as completely as possible when you're doing the movements. Okay. Now, we're going to build on the basics that we have done. Okay. Now, I'm facing you. Later, we'll face away as if we were all in the same direction. Now, here, I'm going to turn my right foot out, shift the weight to the right. I'm going to hold the ball. Keeping the weight down, my left foot's going to move, heel, toe. I'm going to shift the weight here. My hands are going to brush and separate. My foot is going to turn in just a little bit as the weight is fully here. This is about 70% forward, uh, 20 to 30%, 70 to 80% forward, okay? 20 to 30% back, okay? So I think the way it's completely as possible here, I'm on the toes of a, of a left foot, my heel, heel toe, and backward turns. It's called the commencement, the beginning. Okay? It's difficult to follow when I'm facing you. I'm going to face away. So let's try a couple. Building on what we've done. We're just down on the left. We're holding the ball. And that back foot here turns in just a bit. Now I could go heel back, but here we go to Okay, try it again. I'll show you from a different angle. Have the weight down, bring the ball, heel, toe step, back foot. If I leave it there, the leg kind of locks a lot more there, so I turn that to her. Now there are details, but I'm just trying to think, feel the spirit of it. Okay? And so go again in this direction. And turn again at that foot. Now, things that you don't have to work on right now, but specifics. Get her shoulder width. I'm going to turn this foot out so I can put my weight on it. If I don't, I put my weight on it and try to step. I lose my balance. So, so it goes out the way. Keep the weight down. My left foot then, it's not I'm jumping or anything like that. We're just extending the leg out, heel toe. The leg is not fully extended. I'm trying to make it too long. This knee down, heel toe, heel. Knee goes to here. Goes past that, we lose our balance. If we don't make it, uh, we tend to lock the hips and it's too, too tense. Okay, and we go back here. We're not tight, we're walking, so a shoulder width for that step, okay? And Facing the same direction. So that's the second motion from commencement to what they call ward off left side. 
four, grass bird's tail left. Okay. Now, second motion after that, actually third, one, two, three, commencement number one. This is the second of the third. Comes out of this. Now here I'll hold another ball. This time the left is the top. I'm going to bring that right foot in, same time not standing up. Waist rotates a bit. We're going to take a 30 degree step, heel toe. This hand comes up from underneath. Here I'm kind of like taking my own pulse. I'm going to turn that back foot in. And your nose, navel, and knee aligned. Okay, just a 30 degree step. Uh, most of those forward steps, which Master Choi is called the bow stance, are with that shoulder width. Oh. Okay. So, again, go through the commentary of that motion. And now, keeping the weight down. So I'm going to raise onto the toes and get put in a bit. Turn the waist a bit, step 30 degrees. The lower hand comes up, backward turns in, nose, navel, the hands are okay in the same direction. This is no step height. Notice this is round. No jagged edge, it's round. This hand is also round. Breathing stays deep and natural. There are details. So this is a tendency to come up here. Calm down. Settle in here, slow the movement down. Hmm. Now this time what I'm going to do is turn away as if we're all facing the same direction. This is called push upward right side or right push upward. Okay. Let's do that again. So you're low and you're constantly shifting the weight back, keeping the movements around in the limbs, shoulders relaxed, breathing. Okay. So those are the first three movements. Now, building off of that, we have a 30 degree step, face this direction. One of the things we do here, shift the weight back, so that nose navel face the direction of, not the same plane, too tight. Rear knee, rear toe. Forward knee, forward toe. And you'll notice I'm kind of holding a ball. This is the movement we just covered. Now the other thing that happens, you can shift the weight straight back and straight forward. Without the turn. This motion. Or conversely, straight and straight back. Notice how. Back knee bends, forward knee bends. We don't really stand up to shift the weight. Okay, 
So the movement actually comes from kind of a, a nice relaxed sense of ground. It's directed from the waist. Okay. Movements around, they promote a natural sense of breathing. There are details to learn, but everything up here calms down, promoting the natural flow of energy. So you have to learn the details to learn the form, but the practice of the form is to get to that Tai Chi dimension or universe. Okay, so we sort of built on the turning. So from here, push upward, now we lower the left hand, reverse the palms. It's called pull back. Lower the right hand, chest level here. They're similar, but they're different. Sand goes here, press forward. Arms naturally extend. Shift the weight straight back and forward. That's called push. We're covering a lot of territory, but movements stay round. We sink the weight, not set the weight. We're taking two steps one straight ahead. Now, facing that direction, it's a 30 degree step. Now lower the left hand, palms reverse, right away, left towards you. It's called pull back. Lower the right hand so it's a chest level. Put the left palm at the wrist. It's called press forward. Now keep, extend the arms without locking them. And when you finish, see the round here, the round here, that's called push. Okay. So, now I'm going to face away from the camera, meaning we're all going to face as if we were lined up facing the same direction. Okay? So. Yeah. We're going to reach that. Make sure that backward turns in. This is push upward. Let's just pull back, Let's press forward, and this is push. At the end of push, this is no step high, you sink at the chest level. The arms are round, you don't know, overextend. Okay? Let's do that again. Okay, I'm um, going to add one more thing. A lot of times we carry a lot of tension, neck and jaw. Okay, and one of the things about the Tai Chi is I want you to put your hand here. See, I'm looking at it here, staring at it. Yeah, my neck sort of is pushed out. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at that. They call it soft eyes. And I see the room. So I'm focusing here, but I see that. As opposed to being absorbed in this and kind of losing the room. Okay. So in Tai Chi, when you develop the soft eyes in the motion, which means that you follow the movement of the hands. Uh, it relaxes the neck and jaw. And your head starts to kind of feel like it's floating on your spine. So a natural Tai Chi plays, hopefully, which you, know, you don't walk around doing this, but you know, straighter. 
Your breathing is a bit more here. You're able to focus on something, yet you don't lose the room. Okay, so for example, to start, imagine a sphere here. I'm focusing on the sphere, but I see the room, that self dives. Now here, the top of the ball takes the gaze, not looking at it, but now the lead hand takes the gaze, soft eyes. Keep it on the upper hand, which is the left. Now the right hand takes the gaze. Keep it on the right hand. Now the hands are a little too close, so we're gonna we're just gonna put that sphere out here. And right about there we Focus on that sphere as we go back and forth. And what that does for me, when I'm able to do that, I begin to kind of get that feeling that the head is floating on the spine. It carry a lot of tension, neck, jaw. And people get headaches a lot because you know this, uh, this area tenses up. Tai Chi allows you to kind of Find a more natural place with your body and your mind. Okay, well, let's try that again. Okay, so anyway, this is an intro to Tai Chi, and um, we're going to shift into what I call the you know, a group of regulars meets on Thursday uh, evenings at uh, seven thirty. We're starting to try to get a thirty-minute intro every week for people who want to join in, and um, if you're interested in actually learning the actual form, we do offer an online course, video course. So um, if you're interested in that, contact me. I'm Jack Wallace of Jack at, and I double as an Aikido teacher, but I was actually awarded the teaching certificate all right, by Master Choi. Uh, before I went to Japan, to study where I got my black belt. Okay, so the Tai Chi for me, uh, you know, in terms of the actual certification predates the Aikido. Um, let me see. So anyway, we have this. I can get this on here. Jack at AikidoSJ.com. And we have a six lesson video package. And we, as we evolve and go forward, we're also opening this up a little bit. So if you're in the online video course, then you can check in. I've got to learn how to do chat rooms. And we, we, can, we can kind of go back and forth over some fine points. Okay, so. I'm going to shift into the club meeting. Okay, so, come on.